welcome back. Um, last we left off, I had entered this new tunnel. Right is always right, so I'll try left first. Storage. It doesn't sound like the way to go. It sounds like a place to get items or a way to get to the way to go. Hello? Was that? Hello? Who's there? Anybody there? The kitchen. Storage. I'll go to storage. Storage? Oh, snap. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Oh, a note. Tinder. 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep. But as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Yep, and now because of you, we're in this creepy Soon place. Be ready. Let there be enough time. Not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. Pass along behind me. Cause I'm not here. Sure, keep smashing that door. I'm not here. Keep smashing it. I'm not here. Take out your age on the door. I'm not here. Nope. No sorry, Bob. I'm not here. Oh shit. Oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit. Shit oh 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 shit I am not here, monster. I know you smashed this door. I know you smashed this door. That's why I'm not here. Downstairs or tunnel? Explore. 
on condition padlock. Can I? No, I can't reach that. Okay, going down the stairs. It's dark in here. It's light in here. Yay! Gimme. I want. Jar Tinder and Tinder. I think I'm going to hesitate a moment. A few cuts and bruises. Hmm, sanity heads pounding and hands are shaking. Okay. Put a little more oil in my lantern. Oh, man, I have a shit ton of Tinder boxes. <laughs> that is awesome. Now, if only there was any assurance that light would keep the monsters away, I would light more torches. But this is not the case. And therefore, I crawl through the dark tunnels. Light, because that sound means <sighs> monster is near. It is nice to have all these tinder boxes. to be clear. Crawling around the darkness. Well, I guess now that I've been to storage, I can go to the kitchen. Hopefully something good is there. Something delicious. Delicious, delicious treats. Oh, I've not been this way. Hey. This is the place I was trying to reach the tinder box from. Do I want to open or do I not? I think I'll hold off on opening it for now. Whoa! Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! I just want to leave! You can't go outside! It's too dangerous! I'm telling Gabriel! I doubt that very much. Frame rate is doing a bit better this time. Oh shit. Excellent condition padlock. Don't budge, so I'll hide here behind the boxes. Because monsters can't see behind boxes, right? Right? Oh, 
open up your stupid door. Daniel, stop freaking out. Yes, I know the monster is this way. Stop freaking out, Daniel. You have nothing to fear except monsters that want to rip your face off. Okay, I guess we'll open this thing. It needs to be weakened further. Well, that's just shitty luck. I guess I'll continue crawling along the dark tunnels. insanely dark tunnels. Why are these tunnels so dark? Whoa! Hey, Trying to get in here and close the door. Better. You know, all those flashbacks are, I guess, supposed to be interesting and all. They really just get in the way. Slow down progress. Tinder. It's just nasty. It's dead. Hello? Ew. Corpse butts. That's just nasty. note and that's it the note 3rd of August 1839 I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries Brandenburg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenburg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Hmm. Well, with that note, I guess it's time to end, and I'll see you guys next time. See you later.